The reason this project is so important is because the stormwater from this area eventually makes its way to the Macquarie River, which is not far from where we are here. And anything that Council can do to stop pollutants and litter entering that river is just so important. So the purpose of this project here is to not only stop litter or gross pollutants, but also things like sediment, oils and grease from these roadways from actually entering the river where they can certainly harm a lot of the native fish species that are there and have a really negative impact in the local flora and fauna. What we're looking at is uh, coming up with some sort of uh, innovative infrastructure design which can treat stormwater for uh, pollutants, suspended solids uh, and actually uh, improve the quality of the water that's going into the catchment. People need to remember that our water that we get out of our taps does come from our rivers and that if we're putting all of this rubbish and litter and pollutants into the waterways it ends up not only having a negative effect on our environment but it makes it more costly to treat the water for human consumption. Best management practices, only best management practices, we're always looking to improve what we're doing and always looking to the future and new ways to achieve our goals. It's important because this site here at the Adventure Playground is a really high traffic site. We get a lot of visitors to the park and so for council it's really great to be able to uh, have a project on ground where people can actually come and see what's, ha what's happening here. So what's council actually doing in the community? Not, a, not only looking at the environmental benefits but also the aesthetics. Over time these garden bees are going to grow and they're going to prosper and look really attractive and actually tie in really nicely with the already uh, existing aesthetic of the park. So. It's, um, it's about beautifying our landscape and it's also about demonstrating to the community what we're actually doing and in this case really making a definite improvement to the stormwater in this particular area. The alternative to having the treatment train here, uh, well all of your total suspended solids, your uh, phosphates, your nitrates, well that just runs down the existing stormwater infrastructure and out into the, uh, into the Macquarie River. Now the plants we selected for this project are Lamandra longifolia. Uh, the cultivar is Tanika, so we selected a cultivar because it's in a garden situation. Um, it helps with the aesthetics of the park, but the plants really have an important role in the whole project in that they take out a lot of the nutrients, the nitrogen and phosphorus, and so all of those nutrients that come from bird feces and all sorts of pollutants that end up in stormwater, they're taken out by the plants before the water ends up in our creeks and rivers. We'd have all our chip packets and our wrappers and, and all of our uh, rubbish travelling straight out of the, out of the uh, infrastructure. Instead of the rain gardens, all our cigarette butts, all of our silt, all of our um, uh, other solids, they'll all travel uh, out into the catchment. I think this project is innovative in the sense that it is the first time that Council's undertaken a project like this in our area and it's involved a range of different Council service functions. So we've had our design team working on the actual design elements of the project, we've had uh, input from our parks and recreation staff and we've had some project management contribution from other areas of Council. So for different areas of Council to work together on a project and to see that come to, to fruition as it has is a really positive thing for us. And uh, it's been a very positive experience and uh, we're looking forward to seeing the results of the uh, pilot project. And for many members of the public they just don't realise that the water that lands on their roof or on the road is directed straight into our rivers and creeks. So it's a, it's a big opportunity for us to educate people as to the importance of stormwater and how it can affect the environment. We've seen a really successful new and novel approach to stormwater management in our region and it's been very successful in terms of um, working with councils on some new approaches that neither of the organisations have done before. So it's, it's great that we're able to share this information and people can actually come and see it, see how it works. As we progress into the local land service model, we recognise that local government are some of the key land management bodies across the region and we're looking forward to maintaining that momentum and that really strong active partnership with them into the future.